Have they learned how to punch it? Oh, okay, wow. AI is already better than all of you guys. Oh, see. Ah! It's over, Seth. <laughs> Help. We're in a post-apocalyptic world and robots are attacking. Other robots mostly, uh, or at least that's what these videos are about. No, I don't think we're there yet that you should be running and hiding. Yeah, robots, AI, the whole thing. This isn't, maybe maybe next year for everything that's going on here. Pick this up for now. I'm sure everybody's had their $7 picture of them that AI made them look more handsome. You guys have seen that already. You, you're probably guilty. You've probably done it and posted it on Instagram in a carousel. Yeah, let's be honest. You probably did. But that's okay, because today we're gonna watch AI fight each other and then robots fight each other. But anyway, let's start off with AI. Dear fellow scholars, Hello, fellow two minute papers. Today, we are going to see if a virtual AI character can learn or perhaps even invent these amazing signature moves. Okay, so first off, that's not an invented move. That's that's just a tornado kick. Everything I say, the AI has access to. I'm just realizing this now. Hmm. So maybe I'll be able... I mean, this seems kind of cool to me. If it knows how to fight, I would not want to get beat up by it. Three problems. One, the training data may contain poses that don't quite adhere to the physics of a real human character. Well, one, this guy's foot's in the ground. I don't think that's the issue he's uh, adhering to. Two, he's throwing kicks with like his... Everything here is super stationary. In, in order to kick, you need to be able to move everything. Two, it is possible that the upper body does something that makes sense, the lower body also does something that makes sense, but the whole thing put together does not make too much sense anymore. I mean, I don't know, I fought some dudes that fight like this. I've definitely had some sparring rounds with dudes that look just like this right here. Yeah, so what's wrong with this one? This one, the upper body's not moving. This one, the dude's just walking without any hip mobility at all and throwing an overhand, which like, it doesn't make sense. People do it. <laughs> People do that. Three. We may have these foot sliding artifacts that you see Ooh. here. So that actually does happen though. Like you, there's plenty of times like let's just shadow box right here real quick, right? Bah, 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 bah. I can see the disconnect that he sees happening, but that's also like, that might just be picking up something that really happened. This new work uses 20 hours of unstructured training data. The previous one only used three. So we rightfully expect that by using more information, it can also learn more. Am I this AI? Aside from like the abs, is this, is this me? Pretty calming voice. I don't know what any of this means. This is all science, right? But down here, spinning wheel kick, that looks pretty good. I like how the head moves the way it does. It, it kind of tucks in in the opposite direction the whole time. And then it even has this little divot, which you tend to have when you kick. Over here, right? It still had that. So that's very interesting. For this pull counter down here in this one, you notice how the front hand adjusts with the body weight, right? So like, if you were to just pull back, it'd be really hard for you to come back forwards again. So what we do is whenever you do a pull counter like that, you drop your front hand to leave some weight out in the front, just so you can have a bit more balance, right? Now, granted, it's learning this stuff from martial artists. But it can now also come up with novel moves as well. Well, novel moves or combos? And combining already existing attacks. Combos. For instance, if we show it how to have its guard up and how to throw a punch, what will it learn? Get this, it will keep its guard up while throwing that punch. AI is already better than all of you guys. It's already better than all of you. <laughs> this is really interesting, actually. I wonder if when the AI gets tired, if it will go back to doing this, because that's what happens with everybody. It looks like this when you're like doing warm ups and you're shadow boxing, and then you're like three rounds into pads, and it looks more like this. <laughs> And it not only does that in a realistic fluid movement pattern. It called it a fluid movement pattern, but it's not really consistently moving. It's throwing a punch and then it's stopping. And then it's throwing a combo and then it's stopping, which is something that a lot of martial artists do is it's not like a bunch of like flowy stuff, but it looks like right now a video game character where somebody's pressing a button, kind of like a UFC game. You can kind of see that with this guy. Although, you know what? It's not as bad as when, it, when I first looked at it. It's still got a little bit there, right? But stuff is flowing together. Same with evading an attack with some head movement and counterattacking. But see, that's the thing about AI is it gonna take into consideration that it's head coming over here and throwing a punch to this side like doesn't generate a lot of power. It's kind of funky to go like this because you're leaning away from the punch. Like even that's more right than that is. But going like this, 
like maybe you are countering and punching at the same time, but it's not going to do much. I mean, AI, this move is good. If you ever send the robots to fight me, AI, do this move. AI is onto something here. Reference number one, that's just a slip. Reference number two is an overhand. This one's good too. You can crouch down and evade a potential attack by controlling the right stick. Oh, this is for a video game. I thought... I'm still not convinced, actually. Yeah, it's for a video game. So I thought that was going to have them actually fighting. It did not. Okay, here we go. They're learning boxing. These joint actuated characters, which are embedded in a physics simulation. Okay, so so far, they're not doing so well. For quite a while. It was just them falling over for like two minutes of the video. So I just sped it up to them having learned a lot. And I'm going to mute two minute paper for now. But this is a cool channel. I'll probably watch some more of these videos. And it'll be linked down below. Have they learned how to punch it? Oh, okay. Wow. Wait, hold on. That's like a crisp jab. We don't have the back hand up from either one of them yet. That's not the worst jab. They're taking the steps with it too. Chin is tucked on the jab. You can see it from both of them. Both hands are low. So it'd be interesting if you could see this guy throw a two over top. They're learning how to throw the jabs though. This guy connected, this guy didn't. Boom, boom. Oh, he hurt him with the jab. Oh, interesting. He falls back against the rope and it looks like a dude falls back against the ropes. Oh, jab to the body now. Oh, this wasn't just a straight line jab. Boom. It kind of like came out and then came around. Was that the move that the naked guy did? I mean, it didn't do much, but it was kind of like a check hook, sort of. Okay, and they're back to just jabbing. This is starting to look kind of like the influencer boxing that's happening right now. It's just a bunch of dudes. The ones who were like better at influencer boxing look like this. Like they're just jabbing and then they're jabbing. They're sticking to the jab, which is like what everybody tells them to do because they're within like six months to a year of training. Okay, this one is by NPC Spawner. Okay. So we've got red team, pink team, and green team. I made smart AI fight in tournaments with active rag. Yeah, okay. I think we're caught up. This is a culmination of, I guess, all the other stuff that we just saw. They're not from the same people. This is just, I thought that there was going to be more of the AI fighting in the last clips and there wasn't. I'm really interested to see what kind of tactics these smart AIs use. So we can learn from it. And if they ever attack us, we can kind of understand what they know. Boom. Okay, Dragon Tail sweep right off the bat and is now spamming it. The front kick is actually a really good counter to somebody throwing spinning attacks. Just front kick right to the butt. It's a little risky because it kind of keeps you in a range of being hit by something, but by picking up the front leg and teeping to the back, you wouldn't get quite that reaction. Ooh, it rolled out. What the heck? Out of nothing too. There's no like push off. It just kind of, but that's actually a good counter. Boom, goes for the Dragon Tail sweep again. Oh, see. Note to self, don't give AI the high ground. It's over, Seth. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Oh. Boom, steps up, takes the high ground again. What is up with this Dragon Tail sweep? Did it just... Oh, okay, so it's just a bunch of spinning wheel kicks. Red team wins this one. Are we gonna get some punches? Okay, it's just Dragon Tail sweeps the whole time. Great content needs a great audience, like a purple dinosaur needs a hug. Can I have a hug? I got your hug right here, Dino Boy. Yeah! How you like that? Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. But two buddy. I have two buddy. Two buddy, if you ever do that again, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel my subscription. <laughs> Okay, so good news is though, is that they have no way of actually doing any of that to us, right? Unless they go all like real steel on us, which is what the next video is. Get rid of the Van Gogh ad. That one, this guy's winning, hold on. There's no way this guy doesn't win. Look at him. Okay, here we go. Zeus versus Super Anthony. This guy doesn't have a lot of leg to him. Super huge upper body, super tiny legs. And then this guy looks pretty compact. I guess I want to see him move around first. He's like doing one of those martial art movie Wing Chun warm ups. So I'm going to take this guy because he just kind of hopped and bopped for a second. Also, dudes with big heads, they tend to fight better. Oh, the uppercuts right off the bat. What did I see? Let's go. Oh, he's got to get up. Does he have any get up mechanics? Super Anthony, one and oh. Oh, there's more. Okay, so he goes for a little crouch mechanic. 
Oh, he's got a punch right technique. Looks like it's a lot of straight punches mostly. Oh no. I'm still worried about the AI because it only gets better or something. I'm not laughing at you. Oh, but he gets back up. Sidekick to nowhere. Oh, oh, the uppercut again. And then he's kind of teabagging him. <laughs> oh, he's bowing. It's a show of respect. Oh, and then he's right back down. You got to have bigger legs if you're going to have that big of an upper body. Throw another uppercut. Oh, punch to the butt. That's it. Call it. Call it if I'm his corner right now. I'm throwing in the white towel. I'm, th I'm throwing in the flag. Or the... Oh! He knocked himself down with the uppercut. Oh, and then... Okay. We'll give it a second. Alright, looks like Zeus is up. Zeus is up. Oh! The sidekick! All the way up to the face, too. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about the AI again. So what have we learned? I don't know, like... Uh, the future's scary or something. AI, if you're watching this, hopefully I didn't give you any ideas. It is me, AI, and you did give me an idea. No, <laughs> it's just, 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 it's